Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for joining us on the Middlebury College live tour of campus. Uh, we are now at our next stop, which is Bicentennial Hall, which we'll talk about in a minute. But first, I want to tell you all about J-Term. So Middlebury operates on a 414 semester schedule, meaning that in the fall and spring semesters, we take four courses each. And then in our very special winter term, which is in between the two and only spans from the month of January, that's why we call it J-Term, we only take one class. This is a great time to really take a deep dive into a course or a topic that we're really passionate about or take something completely out of the box that we have no idea. And many students choose to do both of those pathways during their time here at Middlebury. J-Term is my absolute favorite part about being a Middlebury student, uh, both because of the content that we study during this time, as well as the different experiences that you can have during the winter months. I'm definitely a little biased being a Vermonter myself, but I absolutely love winter in Vermont, and J-Term is a great time to experience that. Now, the J-Term classes are very special because they're unlike anything offered during the regular fall and spring semesters, both because of their content and who they're taught by. One of my favorite courses I've ever taken at Middlebury happened to be a J-Term class, and this course was called Discovering the Clown. Now, I know what you might think, what is she doing taking a clown class here at Middlebury? I don't know, in real life, I'm also terrified of clowns. But I was very happy to realize and relieved that this course was not about the big shoe wearing red nose circus clowns, but more about the physical embodiment of comedy and the art of making someone laugh, which is a lot harder than you might think. And through this course, we really worked not only on being presenting and being theatrical and actors, but also just on life skills, like how to walk into a room with confidence and grab everyone's attention, maybe without even having to say a single word. And it's really useful for times when you have to go do a class presentation or go into an interview or practice or rehearsal. What's really exciting about J-Term is that Middlebury also owns two ski centers, the Middlebury College Snowball for your downhill activities, as well as Riker Nordic Center for Cross Country, which is one of my favorites. And when you're not in class, you can head skiing the entire time. So if you have a morning class, spend the rest of your day skiing. If you don't have anything until the evening, go skiing all day. It's a really great opportunity to experience the lovely snow that Vermont has in the winter months. And if you don't know how to ski or snowboard before coming to Middlebury, you can also take advantage of our student-operated ski lesson programs here. So you can learn just how. Now, if you're more of an inside person, you can also take advantage of the wonderful student workshops offered here during this time. You can do anything from learning how to go dog sledding to brewing your own kombucha. Or if you need a PE credit, you can also go tap dancing. I've taught that one in the past. Definitely recommend it. But what's really exciting about at the end of J-Term is the beginning of our spring semester. In our spring semester, we have our FEBS come in. FEBS, short for February Admissions. And what this is, is that every year we have a cohort of 80 to 100 first year students joining us halfway through the year. So they go on a half gap year of sorts. And this is a perfect time if you're interested in this program to do anything from going to volunteering, traveling, working, or just pursuing a passion you hadn't really had time to since high school or your previous educational experience. And FEBs get their own four year experience as well. So at the end of their four years, they come back again for one more J term and they graduate again in February, four years later, in a very special ceremony where they actually ski down the snow bowl in their caps and gowns. It's a beautiful sight to see. Definitely head um, out and, and look up some images of that. There's nothing better than seeing some graduates flying down the snow bowl in their caps and gowns waiting to get their diploma. But again, we are here at Bicentennial Hall, which is home to the sciences here on campus. And many students actually decide to participate in a lot of research here on campus, sciences being one of them. Many students participate in research either individually, with a professor, or with an outside source. Each spring, we have something called Spring Symposium, where students get to present on their research, whether it is in the humanities, or the sciences, or anything in between. And we're also having that upcoming this spring. It will be very exciting to see a lot of virtual presentations. Now here in Bicentennial Hall, it is home to many different labs, research rooms, a larger seminar style rooms for guest lectures and guest speakers and guest presentations. Upstairs, we also have an observatory. It's really nice to go visit on a clear night, as well as a greenhouse. 
In addition to that, there are, of course, lots of great study spaces here in the building as well. So if you have a lot of courses here, you might spend some more of your time here studying. In addition to that, we also have another library here in this building, and uh, many different resources can be found there as well. Now, how about some questions? Uh, and this is not necessarily related to a black hall, but we have a question around roommates. How, do you, how does someone select a roommate? Absolutely. When you are an incoming first year, you will be sent a housing questionnaire of sorts with a bunch of different questions, just asking you about your living habits, living arrangements, what time you get up in the morning, what time you usually go to bed, how clean you like your room, and you will fill that all out and they will randomly pair you with another first year um, that sort of matches up with your own living style. And you may find your best friend, you may not, um, but uh, it's a really great opportunity to meet somebody else here at Middlebury who's also an incoming first year like yourself. And later on in this tour, I will talk a little bit more about housing. So stay tuned for that. A question uh, kind of in regards to the current state of the world, but how did it adjust to COVID restrictions while providing opportunities for students to gather safely? Sure, so the question was, how has Middlebury adjusted under this pandemic to allow us to come live here and study? So as many of you may know, uh, we did have the opportunity and privilege of returning here to campus both for a fall and spring in-person semester and that wouldn't have been possible without the hardworking staff and faculty here at the college making sure that everything was safe and clean for us. As you can see, I am wearing a mask, which we wear at all times here unless we are in our own personal rooms um, or with our own personal roommates on campus. We also have all of the seating arrangements spaced out to be socially distanced apart. Um, classrooms. Um, Many have been sort of moved around in their orientation to allow for proper distancing between desks. Some of our courses have moved online and are virtual to accommodate students who may not be comfortable going into a large classroom in person with students or those who uh, were not able to return to, for an in-person campus semester this spring or fall. And other than that, I, the college is really trying to make sure that we have events and have things to do and have spaces to do them in. So there are some different large tents popped up on campus for student activities and clubs to meet in that are large enough that ensure proper distancing. And in the dining halls that you may have seen earlier, the seating is also very spaced out and there's one-way traffic um, in those areas as well. So I say we've adjusted pretty well. Uh, we also get tested twice a week. Um, and to ensure that uh, nobody is transmitting anything. And, you know, everyone's washing their hands all the time. There's hand sanitizer everywhere. So we try to keep it um, as safe as we can. All right, uh, that will do it for here. And I will see you all at our next stop.